And that is in the game that I've been. I'm sorry. The the hootie owl thing that's actually in the game. Okay. Okay. Hootie Back and in. blowfish. Hootie and the blowfish. Uh, We're down past the silicon, into the storm. Nice. All right. Uh, do 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 do. Shells. Okay. Pistons. Shelves. Incomplete as they pop in. Where's those? Drills. Off. Drill rotor. Off. Rotors. And breaking force. Up. All right. There we go. Now, let's sort all this ore out that's probably scattered throughout every inventory in this. <laughs> oh, you know it. Oh, no, I, I can see it. <laughs> I mean, that, that's probably the best thing about where I'm doing all the work. Alright, that's there. Is I can see some stone on the refinery. Everything from the interior. Let's start doing some of that. Let stop it. Oh, it is refining it, but it's in slot two. What? Okay. Not going to question it. Best idea ever. Hmm. Don't question. Oop. Space right. engineers. Yep. Never question space engineers. Let's see. Um... I really hope that strong that strong the stone crusher works well. I hope it doesn't crash the server. Uh, that would be. I'm. You know, now that you say that, I'm a little afraid to try to. You. <laughs> All right. Uh... Okay, that's it. That's everything in the raw ores. Cargo oh. container. Well, only know if it crashes the server if we give it a try, so... Yeah, I guess so. Actually. Empty your inventories. <laughs> okay, click and drag doesn't kill the server. That didn't kill it, and I'm moving it around, so maybe it's safe to use. Kind of sucks that it uses the arc furnace um, model. Um, yeah. Well, then odds are that it's not gonna crash the server. Yeah, that's probably the reason, huh? Okay, so that's done, and it's lifting back up into place. As a matter of fact, it's done. I'm gonna begin working on our industrial zone. All right. Now let me see, what do I have? What do I need to get started? I need to extend out the underneath the upside down. Try to aesthetically match that other... Ooh, what? Bugs? Where? Quit Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bug? Yep. <laughs> it comes charging on, charging in out of the darkness. <laughs> Are you still alive? No, the Aiden got you. I think. All right. Now, question: Can I walk? That right that here? that that is that is not a pleasant sight. What the bug charging out of nowhere? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see. We didn't need new, right? I don't even know what new is on mine. It might be the uh, same thing. New was the um, uh, original drill point. Okay. I'm going to turn all those off for the time being. Now. Let's cut that back. Cut that back right there. And do yeah. Stand there and play. And 
That way the structural pillars look the same. Because at the very least, the structural pillars should look the same. Completely asymmetrical. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, how do I want to do that? Let's see. How did you do this right here? How did I do what? I'm looking at the uh, catwalks where you got them set up. But I think you just use the uh, little double line one. Looks like it anyway. Hmm. Oh, when the game crashed, our uh, door lock stopped. So I need to restart it. Ah. Interior plates. Running along those two. And how big do we want this area? Alright. How many total ores are in the game? Six? No. Um, there's silver, cobalt, iron, gold, uh -huh. silicon, uh -huh. platinum, uh -huh. magnesium, nickel, uh -huh. ice, That's eight. and uranium. So that's 10 plus stone makes 11. Speaking of that, did you see in their preview K, potassium, listed? I did not. It, I have a feeling that potassium, it's a ingredient in a lot of stuff, including fertilizers. Hmm. Be interesting where to take that. I did not see that at all. When they, uh, in... I don't think it was this week. I think it was last week. When they showed uh -huh. off the, um... Uh, new renders for components and things like that. Uh-huh. One of the things that was shown was... The, uh... uh render... Renders of the, uh ores after refining mm -hmm. refining and there was one that was a stack of ores that with a K on the front which was interesting quite uh, I don't think we need this connector here and in anymore do we probably not Well, what I'm going to effectively do, and we're going to need a lot of iron for it, uh, I'm going to give each um, um, ore its own refinery plus two for stone since we got a buttload of it. Okay. Well, I don't know. One for stone would be okay. And we have one on standby for pumping out uh, uranium since that's probably one of the more important ones. So that'll work out. So 12 refineries total is what we're going to end up with. Um, why don't you, inst because arc furnaces are cheaper. Yeah, I'll do that for the iron and whatnot. And uh, what is it, iron? Iron, nickel, I'm not sure if cobalt runs through it or not, but... I'm not sure. We can always go get it, build an arc furnace and test them. Well, I've got a few arc furnaces over here now. Okay, so we go on a hunt for some... Uh, cobalt, raw cobalt, and see if it'll go through an arc furnace. Alright. Alright, so instead of 12, we'll do 6. How about that? Okay. I'm just and, mm -hmm. I'm just thinking aloud that and then we've also got the 4 that you've already built. Right. Well, we could slowly start moving that stuff over and that be our main container area. Yeah. Yeah. That works. I kind of like want that. I kind of <laughs> want to turn the uh, the the raw resource storage area. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you've looked at the azimuth large uh, storage container. 
that's the cylinder. Mm -hmm. But I think having several of those that are uh, piped up like towers. We can do that. Would be cool for the resource storage. Okay. We can certainly do that. So since we're going to cut these back to six instead of that, so it's going to go to there. Alright. To there. I, that's noon. I think I'm going to do it, though. Oh, no. What are you doing? Giving you a throne. Oh, Lord. Gee, thanks. After what that spider did, I don't think I need one for a while. Uh. It can be your command seat when you're uh, up top. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we're gonna run across there. Ah, well, that kind of sucks. You can't zoom out your placement in survival. Yeah. Yeah, that do suck. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What could be good up here? I guess I'll just have to underslung it. And I do want to place these on the inside. And I think it will leave it exposed. The uh, the refineries and all look pretty decent as an external detail. Oh, something you might want to take a look at mm -hmm. is the hazard light armor blocks. Yeah. Those look really awesome. Okay. Because the, you know, the, the stripe yellow when you've got something you need to be cautious about? Certainly. That's what they look like. Oh. That's the texture okay. on them for the entire block. All right. Let's see now. Don't mind the old Skeksis over here. Hmm. My... Uh, that's one thing I do... I do like it when you make a ship or station or whatever look livable. Yeah. Like it's a functioning location. Yeah, like Which, we like like we mentioned early on, anybody can make a small compact little station like I started with and that's really all you need, but where's the fun in that? Right. Architecture is a form of engineering. Absolutely. I fuss about junior engineers and architects at work all the time. Hmm. Alright, let's see now. How do I want to do that? You have no idea how much I want to complain and make a fool of myself to a customer's house or in a customer's house when I see two doors open up towards each other and they rub. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I realize that it's not just the architects. A lot of times the builders are cut corners and then you got the customer who wants certain things certain ways who don't think about things when they're building and I, I realize all that, but come on. Or my favorite one is when a stairwell starts inside of a door frame. Why? Ew. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. Now my question is... I mean, honestly, we don't need that much huh? up here, but how much is the right amount on command console pack. Well, that's looking good there. 
But you got a mighty big area in here too. Yeah. Best thing from that angle, you can't see your throne. <laughs> so oh, it's I'll see it. Be a surprise. Yeah, I'll see it inevitably. All right, where's my refineries at right here? So, I've got a rough idea of how I'm going to set up the interfaces mm -hmm. in here, but I'm also having to try and set it up where. Oh, I didn't grab interior plates. No, I grabbed computers, you stupid. Oh, I didn't grab that many computers. Okay. But my, uh... I'm... Even if I have each console dedicated to something unique, mm -hmm. I'm still running out of things to... reasons to have that many consoles. Yeah. So. Well, you could always put an office or break room up there or something. Yeah. Or just okay. try and keep... I'm also trying to keep it open to where you can easily get a view from as many different sides as possible. Right. Like, right now I have them... The two that I just put in, uh -huh. I figure would be great ones to use as drone controllers. Just the way the consoles are set up, like right. once once we build drones, they'd be that'd be an excellent place for those. And let's see. So if I. I know how I can do the rest of it. It just hit me. Okay. Uh, Did it hurt? No. No. Okay. Because I kind of had the idea beforehand, and it just... It resurfaced. Gotcha. So the initial impact was already there. Oh. It softened the blow a little bit, is what you're saying. Yeah. Now, I'm... I am having some issues with uh, our inventory at the moment mm -hmm. because um, I think it's server issues, but could be. Yeah. Good God! Something down there is making things angry. Yep. And it's making me lag. More so. Okay. And there's that one. I really hope I'm replacing these in right side up, because that's going to upset me! Okay. That's, that's those right there, like that. Alright, well, let's come in here, uh, aid in control. Alright. I can make that work. I need to put lights on the underside of this thing. I can put one. Two, three, four arc furnaces, and that would be plenty of those. Oh, and these are facing like that. Why do those have to be facing that way? Hmm? Does does King do do they like to upset people who have symmetry issues? Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, look at the arc furnace. It's it's piped through its front and back. Why? For people like you. Apparently. 
Alright, now... I need to charge up somewhere. There we go. All charging up. Oh dear. Alright, that Aiden is going ham on another superbug, isn't it? No. Nope, nope I, it stopped. Okay. I I lost my fuel in my jetpack and landed on that bug, and I was terrified. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. I was terrified. I was like, why am I not dead yet? Now, this... That. Mm -hmm. Right now, my plan with these spotlights that I've put in... Right. It's not how they're going to be, but right now, when I try and take control of an Aiden to kill bugs, I cannot see anything under our base. So, I'm going to do something different with them, but for now, that's how things are going to be. Roger that. Does the, uh, the hazard strike blocks, do they have multiples or just flat blocks? It's just that one block. Ah, I believe. I don't think they have a angle, but yeah, I mean, it, it's a nice looking block. Other, I mean, it just has a couple of issues. Ah, uh, what issue? Um, that it doesn't have like an angle. Okay, I was about to say yes. That's sounded kind of scary there. I mean, I would love it if they had an angle on it, uh, yeah. like a, a 90 degree or whatever, 45, whatever you want to. Alright, let's take... And I suppose you change the color by painting it, right? Yep. Okay. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Gotta hike it back. Alright, and then advanced... Run out of hydro. I think the bugs went to bed. Yeah. Alrighty. There they are. Yep. I go hunting for a hydrogen bomb. Damn scattered again. I wonder why. I spent all my day slaving over a darn console, getting the die darn inventory all straightened out just to have somebody come right back behind me and screw it all up. I tell you what. I'm about to get Tim up and running. <laughs> awesome. I don't think we're really hurting for... Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, once we get those um, uh, windmills up, we probably shouldn't be hurting for power too much. Nope. So, I think I will put on productivity modules. Okay, I need to... And effective modules. Let's put one and mm. then control. Yeah. We want to churn through everything pretty quick, so let's do that. I don't see the damn bug. I hear it over near me, I think. Okay. Yep. Hello. to see it. Am I hitting it? Yeah, you were a little bit. Alright. Yeah, I was... I get this feeling that the uh, controlling the turrets are is a little better. Yeah, I can see that. Now, hopefully Tim has a good in-game how to 
Does it actually have one now? Well, like they, a lot of them have a how do you how you use okay. uh, briefing at the front of them. Gotcha. Okay, Taldrin's inventory manager. That's wow. That's impressive. You can set the manager to have have a default quota of uh, things built for you. Like, when I pull stuff out, I need to make sure I have this much after that. Right. And it'll keep the, a minimum running. Damn, there's a lot of fanciness in this. How did that happen? Oh, okay, wow, well, there's, there's a lot the more study. there. I'm going to have to actually sit down and probably get on here at some other point and sit down and get Tim up and running. Very likely. I'm actually done now. Nice. As much as I'm going to get done. So Just two of these and bridge them together. And do that. Alright, so... What next? What next? Um... No, that's ugly. I'm going underneath. I think I am going to build a mining ship. Alright. Good luck with that. Alrighty. So we know it right sides. So it's going to be right. That or I'll start trying to grind out. I think I'll grind down the old base first. Okay. Get rid of that so we're not having to render it. That and it's not a, should be. Getting in the way of other things. That should be there as well. Uh, that would be a very recommendable thing to do. I've got some serious lagola. Well, I'm kind of just running through the old base with my grinder going. I might be doing it. Or I might be I'm not high on coding. Yay! How about that? <laughs> Alrighty. Old base. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting like 12 and 13 frames a second. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that as well. Now, it could be this huge unwelded up structure I've made out here, too. So it's all your fault. Yeah. <laughs> Now, we did decide that we're going to start moving all these refineries and everything over here and make this storage, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't have to worry about materials for that. I'll just move them over. But they are currently still slam full stuff. So, I think I need to work on the underneath first. Well, if we have a storage point, mm -hmm. you just go into your uh, whatever refinery you're pulling down into its menu. Yeah. And tell it to turn. Don't use conveyors, and then empty it out. Before I do it, I need to get the uh, the piping done first, so it actually has somewhere to go. Oh, so that happened. What happened? I dropped the roof. <laughs> Where in your heart had a hope? Well, since I was on top of it and wrote it down. <laughs> Alrighty. I wonder if the double click works for, like, shooting. Hmm. That's a good 
question. Nope. It done it do it, Captain. I cannot change the laws of physics. Well, there went all my... <laughs> what did you do? I double-clicked on the way by and dumped all my steel plates into one of the refineries. Hmm. <laughs> At least I think I did. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> ah, joy. I wish there was kind of a bounce factor in this. Like, if you angled your armor correctly, mm -hmm. compared to where the bullets get, come from, that they bounce. Yeah. That would be interesting, to say the least. I don't know if it's been fixed or addressed, but I think I watched... Uh, I think it was either Aaron or Sage or one or the other was uh, actually looking at the sloped armor against rockets. They seemed to actually deflect it some. Interesting. And now I am officially done. Well, not now, but I am almost officially done with all the welding and placement of bits on the main base. Very nice. So, I'm close there. Then I can start doing other things. This has been a long project. Yeah. Noticed. Five, six, seven and a half hours to get this whole full thing built and piped and we're gonna have a huge kill zone. That's fine by life. me. Um, Let me tell you, that does not hurt my feelings. Okay, this one's next. And that's just doing stone. God, you bugs. I've got a huge amount by me right now. Oh. Good, keep them over there. They're not doing anything. They're just sitting there looking at me. It's kind of funny. Oh, they must be debating on whether you're doing a good job or not over there. One, two, three, four. Four of them? Sure, why not? They're just like, mm, I don't know. Should we sneak up on him and kill him today or wait till he's finished? What do you think, Frank? I don't know. <laughs> I'm hungry. I should make fun of Frank. <laughs> oh, Frank. That's actually a guy I work with. True of heart and nature. But boy, boy, boy. He's a rare soul, let's just say that. Whoa. Come on, you jack-legged darn lag. Leave me alone. You know, I kind of wish that there was a something like a merge block, but also also kind of doubled as a conveyor tube. I know connectors kind of do that, but things kind of stop there without sorting blocks and other stuff. I just want a pure clean pass through once it's hooked up. I think they make there's some mods that do that. Oh, I'm sure there is, and I need to look for those because. That could be great for swappable tool lens. Mm -hmm. At least I think there's some mods that do that. 